Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this video we will talk about text and how to write text in the Adobe Premiere software. So to start typing you go to the text tool and you set the time of the appearance of the text. For example I will set this time. Then you start typing. For example, I will type my name, Joseph Adam. You can type whatever you want. Now I click play and the text will appear on the time I set it to do so. Here we are. If I want the text to start from the beginning, all I have to do is to pull the text to the beginning like this. And you can adjust the text duration from here. You drag to increase or to decrease the text duration. You can adjust the duration as much as you like. Now we will talk about editing the text. So we go to the graphic interface. Then I get these settings right here. I get the essential graphics and all of the settings. I click on edit. Then I click on the text and I get these settings right here. When we click on the text, we get these settings right here. For example, we use this option to position the text. As you see, we can center the text. Same thing here. We position the text on the top, we position it on the center or in the bottom. And here, we can put it on the right corner or the left corner. Now I will put it in the center like this. And from here you can edit the text position manually. You drag until you get the position you want. Then you release the mouse. From here you can edit text position vertically and horizontally. And from here you control the text size. I will leave the text like this. And I center it and from here you control the text opacity and from here you can rotate the text I'll put the text back to its original state now we move to these settings right here, the text settings. And from here you can select the text font. First you select the text, then you go here to set the font. You may not have this much fonts in your software, because these are the fonts I have in my computer, so you will only get the fonts you have on your computer. From here you select the text type, bold or regular, depending on the fonts. Some of the fonts don't have the bold option. From here you control the text position as well. Start typing from the right, the left or the center. I will leave it in the middle. And you control the text from here again. You select the text and you set the settings as you like. You select the text, like this then we control it from these settings choose whatever option or tool you like and we have some more text settings in here as you see you can tilt the text and there are many options in there and when you finish your settings you click 
May to take a look at the changes you just made. Now I go back to the editing interface. And I edit the space a little bit. It's better like this. I can position the text using this tool as well. I can drag it and put it wherever I want. I go to the timeline and I can put the text wherever I like. Depending on the where I want it or when I want it to start. And I can increase its duration like this as I said before. So to edit the text all you have to do is to select the graphics interface and here you have the text settings that enables you to edit the text. You go to edit then you click on the text and you get all of these settings at the tip of your hand. One more thing I forgot to show you is that you can edit the text color from here. You click here and you choose the color you like. You click OK and the changes are applied. And from here you can add a frame to the text and edit the frame color. And you can increase the stroke from here. You click here to deactivate the frame and from here you edit the shadow. You can set the percentage to whatever number you like. You can uncheck any option to remove it and you edit the color from here as we said before. I put the text back to white and I can put the text wherever I like in the timeline. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Hello guys and welcome to this video. In the former video we talked about text and how to edit them. So in this video we will talk about how to move the text. So we start by selecting a file. Then we go to the effects control window. Now we get these options to edit the file. To get this window, make sure to check its box from here. We talked before about how to move images and videos. So today it's the same thing, only we will move the text instead. We make some space right here. So we start the video with the text in the middle. We activate the position feature from here. And we got this dot right here. Now we move the cursor to where we want to text the text to disappear. For example, right here. And we go here and we hide the text like this. We click and we drag until the text disappears and here we are. Now we click play and here we are. Now we bring the text back to the middle like this. We put the cursor right here. Then we drag the text back to the middle. And here we are, the text disappears and appears again. And we change the effect speed like this.
as you see the effect is a little bit faster right now I will remove these dots same thing for the text scale I activate the scale feature and as you see when I play the text the text walks away and I can make it look like this again as you see when I click play it goes away then it will come back same thing for the opacity Now I will delete the, the dots, I deactivate the scale feature, then I activate the opacity feature. I will make the text disappear in this way. As you see when I click play, the text starts disappearing like this. And I will bring it back like this. I'll make it 100% in here. As you see the text disappears, then it comes back. So this is how we edit the text position and the scale and the opacity. You activate the feature and you go to the time you want the change to happen, then you make the change and you click play to take a look at the change just don't move the text like this make sure to move the text from here you click and you drag like this and when you click play you can see the change apply that's it for this video, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.